Hi family, welcome back. So I recently told you about buying my second real estate investment property in a whole different state without ever seeing the building. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you and telling you how everything went down. With that said, let's get into the video. Okay, family, I just flew in town. I'm very, very, very nervous. This is the first time I'll be seeing the house. The very, very first time, y'all. The very first time. The only other time I've seen it is on FaceTime or through like videos. So today will be my first time seeing it. And we're going to do the final walkthrough. And then tomorrow is closing. So it's about to get dark. I have to head over there now to meet my agent. And we're going to walk through. She's going to tell me some things. And then we're going to go from there. This is College Town. This is downtown Columbus, Ohio. It's also close to the Ohio State University campus. Um, yeah, it's in a good, good, good area. There is a lot of just great stuff out here. I'm hoping I can get this in daylight, but it's getting kind of dark. Um, but the great thing is we're almost there and I'm getting more nervous as we get closer and closer. So yes, like I said, college town, a lot of condos, a lot of um, college residents, a lot of updated buildings and a lot of duplexes out here. all college residents um, a lot of college students out here so this is a great great rentable um, unit or units I should say it's beautiful look at look at this all of these duplexes we're getting closer and I'm getting nervous oh my god we're getting closer look at these right here <sighs> we're almost there I'm hoping I can get this in broad daylight so you guys can really really see um, but it's getting dark, so we'll see. But we're getting there. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto East 18th Avenue. This is my building right here see that it's beautiful y'all all right i'm gonna go try and find parking i think i can park right here actually yep i think this is a good spot for me all right family so i am here i'm super nervous i'm parked on the street there is my building right there i'm gonna show you guys but I'm nervous. This is one of the biggest, biggest decisions I've ever made in my life. I don't even know what to think, how to feel. Um, yeah, the agent is supposed to be meeting me at 4.15, so I'm a little early. So I'm just going to go walk around the, the area and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure by the time she gets here, it's going to be um, late. It's going to be dark out. But I really wanted to do the walkthrough in daylight so you all can see. But I'm excited at the same time all right let's let's go let's go see all right family this is my unit let's do a little neighborhood check again this is college town these are all college students living here they're all duplexes there are a lot of nice ones um let me show you just so you guys can get an idea of what the comps are it snowed y'all and there's ice everywhere see <laughs> I'm tripping Ooh. Ooh. That's, look at that <laughs> I'm tripping in the snow um but yes I don't know yeah this is bad but yes this is my unit this is a side view of it right here we're gonna get this all cleaned up, all fixed up nicely. It's gonna look completely different by the time we're done. Um, this is the first unit on this side. 
So as I said, it's a duplex. This is the first unit. Let me go to the side of the building so you guys can see. <clears throat> they have tenants here, so the tenants are moving out. So that's what that stuff is. But yes, this is the side of the building. Let me come over here. <laughs> I'm slipping, y'all. I'm slipping. Okay. All right, family. So it ended up getting dark. So I wasn't able to record a proper walkthrough for you all. And I was also super excited. I saw my agent for the first time. I saw the house for the first time. So to be honest, I completely forgot to record. However, tomorrow is the big day, is closing day. After that, I'm gonna come to the house with a contractor and we're going to do a proper walkthrough so you all can see, all right? So I am in town. Um, I have a lot of errands to run. I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of decisions to make. Um, Nadia will be staying here. I don't even know how to think about that. Um, this will be the first time I'll be away from her in forever, but I'll be going back to Atlanta without her because I'll be coming right back um, in a few days. Um, so she'll be staying here with family. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and run all my errands. I've already booked my Airbnb. I'm going to be there for a few days as well. I have to get a rental car because I can't continue to use my family's car. They got stuff to do and I don't have a car out here. So I'll be getting a rental. Um, yeah, that's going to be more convenient for me to be able to get around and do all the things I need to do. And so I have to put my big girl pennies on and, you know, make some boss moves by myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, so first thing first, I'm going to go to the rental car place. I'm going to go drop off my sister's car and then go to the rental, the car rental place and get me a car and we'll go from there. So family, <laughs> today is closing day. I'm on my way to the bank. I have to go do a um, wire transfer. Um, oh my God, <laughs> biggest transfer I've ever, ever made. So I have to go uh, to the bank to do this one. Um, closing is at 12.30 and it's now 11.10. I'm on my way to the bank, like I said, um, so I can make it in time. I'll be meeting with my real estate agent and um, the title company. And then we'll go do another walk through uh, of the house. So <laughs> uh, let's do it y'all, let's do it. Paperwork. I got the keys. We're gonna head to the house and see it. Yeah. Used to the cold anymore? Yeah. Where are you right now? <laughs> uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh yeah. It gets cold there, but not like this. Yeah, like this. And it doesn't snow like this. Supposed to be like almost sixty one. Yeah. <laughs> This is the dining room. This is the kitchen. It's kind of a weird layout, but you're gonna fix that. That's the basement door. It's the kitchen. This whole wall is going to be coming down to create an open floor plan. So this is the back door. Basement. We're not going to go down there. <laughs> back into the dining room and then into the living room. And these are the 
stairs. Heading upstairs. Right off the top here, this is the bathroom. This is gonna be redone as well. Toilet area. Hi. <laughs> little storage area right here another little storage area this is the first bedroom this is huge nice big windows closet big bedroom Go to the second bedroom. Closet. These are what the floors look like, and they're gonna be fixed as well. They're gonna be sanded and refinished. So we're heading back downstairs. I'll show you the floors. All right, family, so that was a quick overview of what the units look like. Unfortunately, we were not able to see the second unit because as of right now, we still have tenants in there. They are yet to move out. So by law, we have to give them 24 hours of notice before we go in there to do anything. So, but the great thing is the second unit looks exactly like the first one. So whatever you just saw here is exactly how the other one looks like. So just to give you a little detail about the units, each unit has two bedrooms, one bath, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room. It has an upstairs, downstairs, and it also has a basement for storage or laundry space or anything like that. There is also a beautiful porch out in the front of the building. And there's also a deck in the back with a tiny little yard space for your pet. And if you haven't already noticed... This building has beautiful historic features like the original hardwood floors, the baseboards, the moldings, the original doors. It already has blinds in here. The paint is already done for me. And also, this is a beautiful brick building that was built way before I was even thought of. <laughs> That is a little background on what the units look like. And as I said, these are two units. Okay. Um, so yeah, the good thing is um, the floors are in good shape. Like if they come to these sands like that, they can they can probably these little cracks up. No good. Not a big deal. Yeah. So cabinets here. Space. Yeah. What I would do. So, so this is a little bit tricky, but your wall cabinets are 12 inches deep. So they're they're skinnier. They're made skinnier. So when you walk by them, you head. I wouldn't do no base here because base comes out 24. Oh. So you okay. can if you want a big kitchen. You, you absolutely can. Okay. That'd be a big kitchen. You know I mean, so you. So then, where were the base? This is the base, these, right? Yeah, this is the right. base. So when you, if you took this wall out, right, uh, you can do two different options. Mm -hmm. If you take it out mm -hmm. and you want base cabinets here, mm -hmm. which is fine, then you would slide it back. Oh, slide this side. Yeah, because you can't do twenty-four and twenty-four. That puts you here. You don't have enough pass. You got about two. That's real skinny. So if you leave them oh. here. I just spoke with the contractor. We talked about everything we wanted to do, um, everything we want to change, fix, walls, windows, floors, everything. And I'm super, super excited. I'll catch up with you guys later to tell you all more because I'm about to drive and get on the highway. But look at this, y'all. Look how beautiful this area is. 
Look at these cute little college dorm houses. Oh my God. They are adorable. This is how this whole little town is. I, I like to call it college town. So nice. Hey family. So the deal is done. I am traveling back home today. I'm on my way to the airport right now. I have to drop off the rental and then hop on the flight and go back to Atlanta. I am so, so, so proud of myself. So proud of myself. This is this is something I've dreamed about since, since the first day I started watching um, HGTV. <laughs> I've always dreamed about flipping houses, being a landlord, getting into real estate. But at that time, I was dirt broke, like dirt broke. I didn't even know how, when, why, but I just knew I wanted to do something like that. And the truth is, when you plan for something in life, when you pray for something, and when you work at it, when you go to every single length to see your dreams come true, they do come true. It's kind of like, I get a lot of messages from um, you know nursing students or uh, people who want to go to nursing school and they tell me all the time I've been trying to get into nursing and I don't know where to start or when to start or some people will say I started nursing school and I've flunked so many classes I don't think I'm ever going to graduate and I just tell them I don't care how many classes you fail if you really really want to become a nurse if you flunk out of a class study study go back take the class study there is a good chance that Let's say you flunk out of the class by, you know, let's say you got a 60% as your final grade. The next time you go back, take the same class, there's a good chance, even if you flunk again, you're going to get at least a 70% your second time. And the more you take that class, the better you're going to get at it. And by the time you know it, you passed. I know a lot of people who went to nursing school, you know, a program that's supposed to take about two years and they finished it in five years. But guess what? They finished it. That's the main point. So life is very relative. Anything you put your mind to, your heart to, your soul to and work at it is going to happen. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how hard it is. It doesn't matter how painful, what kind of bumps you encounter. It's going to happen if you keep at it. So Anyway, I just say that to say I'm so proud of myself. This is a big, big deal for me, a huge deal. And I honestly couldn't have done it without you all, the support and love that I get from you all. I'm just so grateful and I'm so proud of myself. So, so proud of myself. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm headed to the airport. I'm gonna drop off the rental car and then I'm gonna hop on the plane and head back to Atlanta. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I've gone through TSA. I got my luggage, my bag. On our way to the plane! Oh. 